Okay, welcome back everybody. It's been a little while and uh, Corey said, you know, you only got one video done, you know, left to do, you know, left, left to post. I'm like, oh my god, time flies, huh? So it's been been busy, um, always working. So I thought, you know, we're going to do a whole series of new videos. Um, not always the same stuff, but you apply it and that's the key. You apply it to stuff. So you know, we draw naked people so we can draw better cartoons, but we don't draw our cartoons naked. Um, but what we do with the figure drawing is what makes the cartoons look good, you know. So that's where it's always kind of weird that you're taking, you know, the Renaissance, you know, from the old guys and applying it to your new cartoons, you know, the kind of wonky stuff. So the studios don't want to see their cartoons they want to see that you can draw like the renaissance and then you know apply it to their you know cartoons um so that's really really important and the other thing that's so important is like how to tie things together you know it's like you got these drawings and you're working on each part but it's got to be tied together so I thought I would, you know, do a really long pose and I'm going to do a whole bunch because I have kind of, a, you know, kind of like those window open. So I'm going to get as much stuff over to Corey as possible, but try to get as many of the secrets in your hands too. So, you know, if you've got a complex pose, so a lot of times, again, what is it? It's, you know, it's a circle. It's a box. You know, it's a cylinder. It's the three things. You know, we keep going over the same stuff. Um, you want it solid, put in a cross contour. You know, that type of thing, you know. So it's, it's walking over, it's going the other side and walking over here. You can be walking here, walk over, and then go there, you know. Going this way, come up. The more cross contours, the better, you know, the form. And then if you're on the digital world, they're edge loops. So edge loops came after your um you know cross contours because con cross contours were really heavy you know with the renaissance so what are you really dealing with you know the same stuff um combining the stuff together well it's just musical notes we got you know the wave right which is a series of this which we call cal state cool which was just a silly it was a joke that took off i just did a joke one night you know at the at cal state northridge and then i thought well we need surfers so cal state bitchin so again this will continue to flow no matter how far you want to go same thing here it's all the same you know it's like this pinball machine but if you get to this and hit that straight line now it stops see so bingo now now it stops so that's really important um another thing really important is stds what is stds an std is a scientific trajectory distribution system a trajectory is anything that's pushing the eye so if we're pushing the eye that would be a trajectory you know like i do with my forensic stuff you know the you know the the trajectory of the bullet the bullet's trajectory is going this way so that's a distribution of energy that when the bullet travels it's distributing energy and then it needs to be a science and it needs to be sustainable it needs to be a system so what is it well, scientific trajectory distribution system. So you've got to be asking yourself while you do the drawing, where are the STDs? And as we know, STDs are everywhere. So if you have a circle and it's going like that, you know, you can put in a dark line right there, you know, kind of a heavy line, and that would be the STD. Um, but you could also do this. You can draw the circle and then you can hit kind of a like a point to that circle like that you see so it's all round and then you got that point right there and that's an std boom distribution of energy so you can do that um 
it's just a matter of, you know, like you can go here, you know, like here's a circle and then you can go like that and kind of push it out, you know, like that. And that's a distribution of energy because pushing the eye that way. So you go like that, you see, and that's an STD. So that works. So as we're doing the drawings, we're basically very concerned with how we're, you know, piecing them together. So the drawing that I'm going to do has a lot of pieces. They're like there's like the head is right here, you know, and then the rib cage, you know, is here and this arm is floating, but it's really not connected. So I have that and then the hand is coming this way. So it's not connected in this arm here and then it's going back in space. And then here's this leg here. Yeah, I can't show you the, you know, the drawing, the photo, because she's naked. Um, you know, and then here's this leg coming this way, and it's going back. So that's the pose. But what do we got? You know, everything's in threes. So we got the head, rib cage, and pelvis. So that's three. You got the top of the arm, the lower arm, and the hand. You know, three. The top of the leg, the bottom of the leg, and the foot, three. So you know, that's what you're dealing with, you know, it's three. So I have to combine these threes with very distinct tools. And those tools are going to be here with these, you know, cool bitching and wave. When I'm thinking of these areas here, which is the, the three geometric shapes or any variation of what happens is they're they're segregated you know they don't fit together so if you only think of this you're going to get really clunky drawings they're not going to flow so if you're thinking of the rhythms you're golden if you're thinking of the rhythms with cross contours you're really golden so again going back to three we go one two three and then we wrap around and now that's coming towards us. If we go one, two, three, and we wrap around, now this is going away from us. See, so it's just a series of these threes on the rhythm, so it's the wave with three. I can do cool like this, and then wrap around, and that'll give me form also. See how that works? If I go like this, and I hit a point right there, now it's cool with an STD and I guess no matter how you want to get your STDs I guess it could be cool in the beginning um, and then this is gonna overlap going you know that way so that's how that works so those are the principles that I'm going to be using I'm gonna do a really long drawing I'm gonna break it down into different stages so I'm gonna do GCAT so it's gesture construction anatomy technique and um, I'm going to use uh, white chalk and some green pencils. And I like to use green because, as we know, green is in the Bible. And uh, it's very biblical, as I am, you know, a very pious biblical guy. And, uh, you know, hey, Moses, I guess his name was Moses. Um, he's a cool guy. He parted the water. The water was green. Um, Jesus walked on water. Well, the water was green burning bush before you know it was a burning bush so it's like it's a talking burning bush that's kind of cool um and uh it was green you know so green is biblical and it's been around for a long years so i use green so this is kind of a grayish green and this is a green and then white you know that's just me you know i'm very white so it kind of pulls everything together so i'm going to hit stop and then i'm going to sharpen my pencils and get a white chalk and come back and we're going to do a really long drawing um, i'm going to use this machine right here this has a lot of music in it i don't know how all those bands fit in here um i guess you know i'm listening to 70s music so maybe you know after you know 10 20 15 60 70 years i don't know something like that uh, they get kind of small and they can fit in here but they sound really good um so i'm going to listen to music and i'm going to use these things and again you know green this is white and this matches my skin so i'm like really really like what do they say like in space jam you know, i'm so white i'm pale so i use my hand as a judge for value 
So I'm going to use these and I'm going to get lost in the drawing and you should too. I can't show you the drawing because she's naked. Um, but you'll see as the drawing progresses, you know, the pose. And then you could find a naked person too. And then you can draw along because, um, you know, all naked people are kind of the same. Just subtle changes. I think it's time for you to stop talking and start drawing. What do you say? Let's do it. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to listen to Genesis because uh, from what I hear, that's kind of in the Bible. Um, and I'm going to listen to the album. And then there were three because three is in art. So I think that kind of ties it together. And, uh, and you can get lost in it. And the trick is to just get totally lost in your drawing. And that's what I'm going to do. So you guys should do the same. I'll you know, bring out the different parts as I go. But the whole idea is that you get lost and you, you know, you just, uh, the mystery is, you know, my classes were always lecture classes and, you know, it take months, if not years to put together all those crazy lectures. Um, so people used to think that at, at home I was like that. And, uh, but no, I was performing. Um, so at my school, I'm performing, you know, I put a lot of time into figuring out the lectures and how they fit, but at home, I'm in my studio. 80% of the time, unless I'm on the phone with somebody, I'm silent, you know, and that's kind of what I want you to do. I want you to think about getting completely lost in your work. Okay. So, and you can't do it without good music. So let's put on some Genesis. You do the same and, uh, play. It's so cool. You have all this music at your disposal. All right. And I, I just draw with the music. Now this is tough. Like you gotta start placing. It's so, like the hand is here. We're gonna come up to the arm here. It's coming towards me. And there's the arm, um, shoulder. This is gonna have very heavy emphasis on the hand and the face. So the face will tie together. So I'm just gonna indicate there. Here's the shoulder. And this person is a she, and she's got her weight on this back hand. And um, boom, so we got that. Landmarks are really important. If you want to know about landmarks, just go to the videos. So the videos are very available. Just go to, you know, talk to Robin or Corey at Portfolio Art School and get the videos. So it's all in there. Pit of the neck. Now we got to be careful. I'm going to float this scapula here. Boom. So I'm going to open this up in the back. There's a rib cage. Okay. And that's the box shape. Okay. And then it's going back. So there's a rib cage. This is going to be the tummy. It's going back. I'm using all I have, you know, gesture, construction, anatomy, technique. I'm using scribble shape and form in my land. Okay. We want to be able to scribble it. And the reason why you scribble is so you can make changes. Here we go. There's the leg coming towards me. There's the leg, boom, I'm using an arrow, they're going to come around and go back that way. Okay, then the face, she's got her face coming forward, I'm going to bring the face up a bit. So just put in the rhythm chart, really pull that neck, so I'm going to push the neck back a bit. So I got that. Rhythm chart, so we're, we're combining Riley. Which is a little weird. So I'm going to measure. So there's the head. So that's the head to the chin. Come down. That should be the sternum. It's pretty close. That's the navel. Pretty close because it's going back in space. Okay. And then the pubic arch down there. So that's it. So, so far so good. You want to measure. Okay. Um, this will be an STD there, and 
then this will be an STD here, and that'll be an STD there. So we got this really fun story, guide in the eye, okay? And that was done pretty quick. And it's only been four minutes, so we'll keep going. So now the next step is to go in and put in those, uh, the cross contours. So, that, you know, do you really need to put in all the shapes? Not really. I mean, you know, if you're putting in the cross contours, the cross contours will take you, to, will become the shape. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. So I'm going to get a little bit lost in here. Okay. Behind the neck. Some mass at her bone. Sternocleidoid mastoid here. How you hold the pencil doesn't matter. Typically, if you hold it like this, you draw more with your shoulder, but I'm drawing flat. You know, if I'm drawing from a model and I got my board up like this and I draw like that, so it's really natural. And this is not as natural, right? I always like the painters, you know, that they're, they're very dramatic when they paint. And, I, you know, I'm really missing that in my work, like, you know, lots of rings and that wonderful, like, hand gesture and, you know, I don't have that, you know, I'm kind of like a CPA or accountant or attorney or something, you know, and I'll say, you know, and the master drawer, Sheldon Bornstein, it's like, no, you know, it's, it's represented by the law firm of Sheldon Bornstein, you know, so it really kind of messed me up. So I don't care how I hold my pencil, you know, but here I'm holding down. So I'll probably go like this. No matter what you're doing, draw from your shoulder. Okay. I'm going to pull this into the pit of the neck. Now, like I've always done at airports, you know, or beaches, put your finger on the actual model, but not a model in a figure drawing class. They're sacred. And if you're on the beach, put your hand on the person if you're drawing them. You know, they get mad, but you can tell them, you know, you're a professional, you do this for a living, and you know, if they don't like it, go to another beach, right? So go here, find that sternum, that's your landmark, and that'll gift you a STD. I mean, there's a lot of STDs on the beach, definitely at the airport. Oh, what is it about people at the airport that don't have STDs? Right here. And come across and go back. That's a definite box shape there. So we got that. Walk on down. So again, you know, when you're at the airport and you got a naked person at gate number, you know, three. Um, then, um, you know, go ahead and, you know, hit the belly button right there. That's landmark. And then come on down the pubic arch. And you don't really get a lot of people. STDs from the pubic arch, but you can rest assured they start there. Okay, come back up here. Well, that's another box shape right there. Iliac crest. Boom. And then this booty, you know, there's two butt cheeks because, you know, as we all oh, known two butt cheeks are better than one and two butt cheeks will definitely help you get the job done so you want to feel through the leg and feel that butt cheek right there again don't feel the actual model's butt cheek because it can get you in trouble um but definitely you know like again if you're at the airport or the beach you know that's why they're there you know why would anybody go to an airport you know it's ridiculous it's a, stupid place and at the beach I mean they're already ready to show it off so you know walk up and get a cross contour on it you know and if they get mad at you just tell them you're a professional you do this for a living there's cross contour box shape for the patella Wrap around.
Both these are coming towards us. So it's just using a cylinder or a box. Go um, like there. It's going back. Then this has to overlap. So this line overlaps this line and overlaps this line. If you copy the model, it's not going to be there. So we really need to make sure that we're building it. really want to float this arm so the scapula is going to float you're only connected here at the cavicular joint so your entire, entire arm floats This is floating, it's kind of like you know, a piece of chicken. You know, they always look the same. So, you know, if you pull off an arm of a chicken or a leg, it looks like a leg. You know, so if you order a chicken leg and it comes and looks like a cheeseburger, it's not a chicken leg. And um, so, I like to call this the uh, Jeffrey Dahmer Training Manual and Cookbook. You know. You know, just pull the pull the arm off, and what comes with it? You know, so thank you, Jeffrey, for giving us some good drawing tools. Okay, so if anybody doesn't know who Jeffrey Dahmer is, just look him up. I kind of hung out with Hannibal the Cannibal. So we go here. Now, if the arm, if the hand's going straight, just turn it and give it that rhythm. You know, for the hand, so go like that. And then we'll, she's got her fingers spread out. What we're going to do is group it. So I'm going to group the two. And then I'll bring this finger out like that. So we've got that gesture. So that's kind of fun. And she doesn't have a thumb, but I'll put one there. And then here, that's an STD, the shoulder. So I'm going to push that up. I'm going to come here and... So this is straight, I'm going to hyperextend the arm and that'll give me a uh, Cal State cool, Cal State bitchin' curved to straight. So, I'm going to bring this uh, elbow behind. Draw through. See, I'm drawing through. Really important. If you're not drawing through, you're going to get in big trouble. So, here, and then these are the add ons. There's a great anatomy song. It goes, Hey, now I'll draw the torso. Forget the add ons. Get paid. So, you know, if you're drawing the torso and you're just focusing on these add ons, and not what's behind it, you're going to be in trouble. 
you're not going to get paid. So hey, now draw the torso, forget the add-ons, get paid, and then use these for uh, showing form. And that's why they're there. Okay, because they're going to fall on the mass. It's really important. Okay. Here's the face up here. I'm kind of pushing it. And that's the land. She got her hair back. I think we should have some fun with it. So let's bring it here. And, no, no, that doesn't work. Let's go here. It's just kind of like that. So the whole idea about the land like this is that it's um, designed so you can make changes. Okay. All right. So that was 15 minutes. That's a good place to stop. And then we will um, keep going to the next step. Okay, let's move on to the next stage. So I'm going to kind of go for finish. I got my coffee here. It's pretty late. It's kind of late. Not for the artist, so it's 10 to 11. Artists have a tendency to work into the night because we're artists. It's weird because all my students, you know, they all work late. I'm still a student. Um, I don't think I'm ever not going to be a student. You know, I have mentors. So we're going to key this drawing. Like what is the darkest dark? That's probably the darkest it's going to get. Work in the halftone. So I'm looking for where it turns. I just find a spot. Like I'm looking at that face now, and it's it needs to be it needs to be bigger. So that's why we have the scribble, so we can constantly be making changes. Okay. I was talking to a student the other day, and it's like professionally, I always tell people, don't take away my right to fail. You know. Um, just, I try, you know, make sure that at the end I get it, you know, I got it right. But during the process, if you're not failing, how are you going to ever get it right? So, kind of a longer neck there. It's kind of fun. The trick on this part now is to get in there and really feel it. So if I stop talking, which most people probably would wish I would, um, it means I've gotten lost in it. I was telling someone the other day, you know, I only talk to three people, three or four people a week. So it's three or four conversations. It's just each conversation lasts 20 hours. Okay, here we go. So we go here. So see how I'm wrapping this around? Making it fit. And the hard part about this drawing is that it's all in pieces. It's really not fitting. So we're going to make it fit. This is scapula. Turn. So we're keying it, so come in there and put in the white. So this will probably be the strongest white right there. So what do we have? We've got the lightest light and the darkest dark. 
and uh, I'm gonna have to deal with that. So this is complex. So I'm gonna go simple here. It's complex, complex. Scap it as a box shape. So this shape here is just this side of a shape on the inside which is a tricep so this is kind of like a union you know you don't mess with unions so if this is the union of the tricep yeah you gotta listen carefully but hey, yo hey yo what the what the talk i'm a union guy you know like you listen to genesis you know it's like it's real man it's like i'm as real as genesis so, you know, you want to bring your arm back? Ain't no more, because I'm a union of the tricep. You know, so you don't mess with the union, guys. You know, you'll be on the bottom of the ocean. It's funny, the drought's causing uh, the lakes by Vegas to, <laughs> to go down. They're finding all these bodies. <laughs> it's great. It's a union, man. Or the hip, man. There we go. So you see this arm is, is kind of like pulling off the torso. And Tony, the union guy. Local 844. Union of the deltoid. You want to drink a beer? Ain't no more. A union guy. So this is the core shadow. That's reflected light right there. He's got this long arm really spreading out there. Man, that's that's really long, I guess. It should be from there. Yeah. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah. So this is like a cylinder. I was going to cast a shadow here. Core. Reflected light. Remember, when you're dealing with core shadows and cast shadows, it's always soft before it's hard, okay? So it's not, you know, it's not hard to remember. Core shadows are soft, cast shadows are hard. Always soft before it's hard. There you go. This is a hard condyle. So it's going to cast a shadow here. Let's bring the hand out some more.
So this arm is going to cast a shadow onto the chest here. That's a sphere. So this is cast shadow, core shadow. Hard right here, soft here, soft before hard right there. Your tone, your light's going to go right up to the cast shadow. The cast shadows are kind of rude. We'll just go right over the top. These are all cross contours. Lights come in this way. See the cross contours are going all the way around, we're just only touching down where it turns. So you can think anatomy or you could just think overlapping forms. So that's what I'm doing here, just overlapping. This is in front of this, this is in front of that. So we got soft, hard, coarse, soft, Cast heart. Lights come in this way. It's going to catch some light here. Reflected light could be the paper if I go darker behind it. And because this is off form here, if I want, I can just go to a flat shape. Cast shadow off the face.
it's a great song. I'm gonna crank it up a bit. Okay, this is 14 minutes, so I'm going to hit pause, double check the focus, and then come back. Just it's easier for Corey to edit together, so I'll be right back. Alright, let's keep going. I'm going to usually play the same song over and over and over again. Okay, so when you get back into it, you got to go back and hit your landmarks again. So reestablish, go this way. You can do it in the air. So like air guitar on a figure. So now you know where you're at. So I'm going to pick up the pace because it's just repeating. Everything we did here just repeats. So I'm just going to get it lost in it and, and draw. So you guys, I'll draw the same too. Somebody wrote a question about using the depth of field. What you do is you just, here's a form, and leave a space open, and then draw the next form. 
such reflect then you'll get a lost edge there. That's all there is. Draw it, just don't touch your pencil down. And then move in a little bit and touch the pencil, leaving areas open. That's it. It's real simple. Box shape. See these errors here? That's all it is. Straight curve. Let's keep going.
So we're pushing the hand way out here into depth of field. Okay, let's take a little break here. All right, let's keep going. Uh, it's a new morning. We worked late last night on this drawing. And now it's uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. We're getting back into it. Listening to some more Genesis. Lamb lies down on Broadway, which is proof there's a God. Because only a God could do such an amazing album. We go. Okay. So let's have some fun. Now, when you're coming back to a drawing after leaving it, you got to kind of reinvent it. So you come back and just in the air, you know, or barely touching it, hit the rhythms. Really important. Hit the landmark. Come on down, next landmark, next landmark. You know, find the corners. Just reinvent it. Get, you know, get acquainted with the drawing again. That'd be for painting, anything you're doing. Okay. And here we go. Landmark. Oh, the rib cage is going to cast a shadow on the stomach. So the cast shadow is a tool. So use the cast shadow to show form. So we're going to go cast shadow into core shadow. When you can take a cast and have it just seamlessly move into a core, um, that's amazing. 
that's that's fun that's an artist high that's a rush that's what you love <clears throat> cross contours you can feel where you are cross contours help you measure because you're just walking down the form so we're gonna go down up down so it's a good you know opportunity to put in the lights because you have a cast shadow the light goes right up to it So I'm judging the distance between the white lines to give me half tone. See? It goes down, up, law of opposites. So this is the form here, but the pubis is going to go in front of it. So that gives you an overlapping form, which is which is great. Anytime you get an overlapping form, you're in good shape. So this goes this way, Cal State Coolant. That's an STD right there. I'm going to push it. I'm starting to lose these edges. Now it's coming this way, so it's going to hit the top right here. So I go stronger there because that's a center of interest. This is a box shape down here. The stomach stops here, it's the seam. Then it picks up and then it goes down to the pelvic area. I have a thing about people drawing genitals. My lectures are super crazy, but I keep a pretty careful life. And it's not, you know, being a prude or anything, because God knows I'm not. Um, but you don't want people give, you don't want to give people the ammunition to get you. And they're going to try to get you because they're jealous. For what? I have no idea. Um, for all of you out there who have at any given time tried to hurt me, I hope you're well. I hope you have a good life. But all I do is work hard. That's it. So while you're playing, I'm working. So if you're jealous of that, I'm sorry. I wish you well and I wish you a good life but I wish it far away from me because you're dangerous. Work hard. Don't give people the ammunition to hurt you. So leave the genitals out. If you're drawing genitals on the job, you've got a really fun job. But I've never worked on a cartoon where I've had to draw genitals or an illustration. So you're just better off 
because they'll they'll try to get you. Don't give them don't give them the tools. Okay, <clears throat> legs going to go back here. Have a core shadow here. Okay, light's still coming down here, so we're going to wrap this around. You can actually draw with the music. right here to give it a form. So we have light, halftone core, and then we're going to have like a reflected light area and put a little light in there so we know it's going around. Look for where the forms turn, so it's turning. So I'm working the whole drawing. Go for the total. This is stronger here, less here, because the light's moving down. So we get stronger, less, 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 and then we'll bring it up again, so, you know, closer to the camera.
if I want to bring this out, I'll make this simple. Okay. So I got all this form up here and then lose it. I was going to do hair, but it kind of looks like she's wearing a, kind of a little scarf or something. I don't know. Let the drawing do what the drawing does. Because this isn't for a job right now. I'm going to give her kind of a scarf. Which is not even close to the photo. Bring that the hand back in focus, but I gotta get this arm to go behind. So I'm gonna go like that. Always drawing through.
Now these hands I'm making up because they're not in the photo. Lights coming this way, put a little shadow in there. So every line has a form. <clears throat> we're at 21 minutes, so we're gonna click off of it so that Corey doesn't, we don't have this trouble trying to transfer these files. So let's do that and we'll come right back. Okay, let's keep going on this very long drawing. Took a little break. Still listening to Genesis. Let's go. So when you come back again, get back in there, reestablish rhythms and landmarks. You just touch them. Let's have some fun. This is a thin, thick, thin line, just that one line. That goes back to the animation cleanup.
Okay, now what we do is we go in and do what I call Cal State Cruel CPR. And we're going to start at the top, just lightly work your way down, just kind of connect the shapes, barely touching it. This is music. Okay, we'll come in, do the same thing, just very lightly with the darks. We're just tying everything together. Just do it to the music. I think that might be it. Hit a couple of um, STDs. Pushing the eye up. STDs could also come towards us by hitting this strong highlight here. Okay, that was fun. Had a good time. Okay, let's see on the next drawing.